Shalom. Shalom. Giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Kakodash. Giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Kakodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High, which means Yah, meaning He in the Hebrew, and Hawa meaning to be. Bahasham in the name or in the name of Yahawashai, which is the beloved son of Yahweh. Yahawashai meaning Yah, meaning he, Hawashai saved or delivers. Joshua During the time of Moses, the second in command of Moses, you had Joshua, Moses, Joshua, and Aaron, the high priest. Joshua took command of Israel after Moses. Joshua is the same name as Yahushai, our Lord, which means he saves or he delivers. You had a king. King Hosea, he was the king of the northern kingdom, the kingdom of Israel, and his name was Hosea, or Hawashai, which means deliver, deliver, deliverer, save. So somewhat of a common name when you, you know, read the scriptures. Anyway, I'm going to entitle this video One Step Closer to Prophecy. And this is breaking news, breaking news. This is not going to be a long video. I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of precepts unless the most I put the spirit on me to do so. Because a lot of precepts, especially prophetic scriptures, come to mind. So I put in Israel, Israel bans cash. So one step closer, GMS is always right, 100% truth. Uh, Israel prohibits uh, large cash transactions. Bitcoin news. The BM Live team discussing a new Israeli law banning cash transactions over uh, 6,000 NIS. Um, that translates into um, 4,400 US dollars, Federal Reserve, no FRNs, whatever you want to call it, while the government claims this is, well, this is a YouTube video that was put up as of uh, 13 hours ago. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to click See what happens. Bear me for a minute. Because what I want to do is I want to subscribe to this. Wait a minute. Okay, this is a uh, Bitcoin magazine. Israel prohibits large cash trans transactions. Bitcoin news, a Bitcoin magazine. So let me go ahead and you know when the scripture said buy or sell, it's going to be buying and selling through. Um, digital currency. So Israel, I guess, well, is one of the models. Okay, so we're back at the main page here. 
It says government. I got to watch the rest of this. Five minutes long. Okay, this goes back. So, so this has been a, a, a this gone this has gone back years. This is September twenty fourth, twenty thirteen. We're talking almost. We're talking almost what nine years, almost ten years. Government dream of a of a cashless society already a reality. So you people looking at this. Um, uh, SBDC as something that they started talking about a year or two ago. No, nah, this goes back to 2013. This is part of an agenda. This was put up as of one day ago. John Adams on Twitter, break in Israel has implemented you can click on that, which I'm not going to do. Breaking news, Israel has implemented uh, ver their version of a cash transaction ban, meaning paper money. This was put up a couple of days ago, Bank of Israel, because they have the, their central bank. Uh, July 26, 2022, year of Yahweh Bashem Shai turning up. So, this was as of a couple of days ago. The banking uh, supervision department, the BSD, today is publishing a document defining its role and targets on the issue. You click on that, you can watch the video. This was put up a couple of months ago. Bank of Israel remains unsure of CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency. Even amid public, uh, the public said that a digital shekel, okay, so the 6,000 is a shekel, is a shekel. So 6,000 shekels is equivalent to 4,400. Uh, U.S. or Federal Reserve notes. The public said that a digital shekel would reduce reliance on cash and advance the fintech industry. Uh, this is YouTube. Israel will ban cash payments over 4,400 uh, U.S. on Monday of Fed's Federal Reserve notes, which is uh, 6,000 shekels, digital shekels. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, this is from a year ago. Texas and Florida get involved in Israel's fight with Okay, that's something else. That's not what I want. Okay, let me go over here, come over here. A whole lot of prophetic precepts is coming to mind. I'm not going to go to it quite yet. Let me get images. This was put up 11 days ago. <clears throat> Israel is becoming a cashless society. Just ban large transactions. And in time, it'll be all transactions, all paper transactions, dollar transactions, everything's going to be digital.
And this is a fulfillment of uh, a major prophecy. You heard it first from GMS. So this is uh, news. Israel will ban cash payments over, should be over 4,400 on Monday. This was put up as 14 hours ago, banning the beginning August 1st, which is tomorrow. Israel will ban cash for personal transactions over 4,400 U.S. and business transactions, business transactions over 1,000, not even $2,000, the country will impose. One step closer. Uh, the Jer the Jer 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 Jerusalem Post, Israel bans use of cash for purchases larger than and um that's a, that means shekels, 6,000 shekels. A new law is set to take effect in Israel starting August 1, August 1st, that will ban payments of large sums of money in cash and bank checks. Israel's a lower threshold on cash transactions take effect next week. And this is as of 2019. <clears throat> but this was put up three days ago. Major prophecies coming to pass, quickly coming to pass. Um, the media line. Israel bans use of large sums of cash. A new law is set uh, take a federal, to take effect in Israel starting August 1, August 1st. They will ban payments of large sums of money in cash and bank checks. The electronic Intifada, Meta, oh, Meta, see that right there, Meta. It used to be called uh, Facebook, now it's Meta. And now Meta means, well, you, you know what it means. But anyway, the word for forehead in Revelation 13 on your right hand, on your forehead, do you know the, the Greek word for forehead? It's meta, a meta pond. Meta, meta facilities, bullying of Palestine activists, cash to har harass Incentivized, in, in, incentivized, I'm sorry, online harassment of pro-Palestinian accounts has long been a Zionist strategy for years. Israel has offered one day ago. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.